Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series generation E60, 61 that you see right here. This is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys have one of those, you're trying to find where your fuel pump relay is located. It could be, it could be a little bit tricky. Stay with us, we'll explain about that. Where you can buy cheap relays, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have BMW E60, 61, that generation 5 series, we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay. Why? To save you time and money. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse blows out, what do you need to do? Okay, it takes forever to find where it's located, it's so complicated, you may have even multiple fuses, and all you have to do, come to our channel, search for it, and you'll be able to find that video, watch it, and in less than two minutes, you replace the fuses, you're back on the Road. Something else guys, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos, we take them completely apart, we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything. Engines, transmissions, why we do that? Because our mission to shop is to save you money guys. We have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And if you need to buy cheap fuses, relays, anything for your BMW, links will be shared as well. So let's continue now. So fuel pump relay guys, okay, things get a little bit complicated here. Depending on whether you have the facelifted version, pre-facelifted or after facelifted version, you may have fuel pump relay, you may not. Okay, uh, now another thing guys, another thing it could be, okay, uh, it could be uh, integrated as part of the computer, uh, engine computer, but uh, we'll explain where usually you can find it. You will guys need to go to the passenger side, open the glove box here, on the back side of your glove box, all the way on the back you have that rectangular cover, it attaches with two turning knobs, one on the left, one on the right side, turn them 90 degrees, remove that cover. Behind it you have a fuse box guys. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find find out for sure if it's good or bad. The same thing for relays guys, okay? Uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars, so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays. And for some certain fuses guys, it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them, otherwise you can burn the electronics. And uh, for instance, working on airbags, fuses or anything like that, you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery. And if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system, I will never recommend to do that guys. Uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So usually guys in that glove box okay you will have that power saving relay here and next to it you may have a fuel pump relay for some engines not all engines will have that relay but if you have one it will be right here. Uh, now you may have some other hidden relays above that fuse box here and above the CD changer on the right side 
Also, another place where you have relays in that car will be under the hood, open the hood and come on the passenger side, right in front of the windshield and behind the shock tower, you have that trim cover, remove it. You get to a white electrical box, open it, inside, big mess, but you have a few more relays here, here and you may have multiple relays depending on the engine model and configuration. The next thing, in the trunk you have two places where you can have relay. One is under that cover where the fuse box is, one is under the uh, cargo line where uh, right under the spare tire you may have a plate with relays as well but under that cover guys okay you will have a fuse box that looks like that for the pre facelifted version you have you can have multiple relays here or you may have this one where you have uh, maybe one or two relays here as well but uh, some of you will have fuel pump relays some will not guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time